Good morning, folks. This is Mark Hall. I'm coming from beautiful downtown Zephyr Hills. It's uh, approximately 9.30 a.m. And I believe it's 63 degrees outside. But I'm here to continue on my uh, nuclear medicine series uh, explanation for the layman or for the patients. This by no means is not medical advice. You need to get that from your doctor. But as a nuclear medicine technologist for over 23 years, uh, I feel that I'm able to explain uh, how these procedures are done and uh, kind of let patients know a little bit what to expect when they have one done because their doctor's office doesn't tell them. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, please forgive me, I will kind of rub on this pen a lot um, as I talk. A couple of years ago, I was forced into a medical retirement. Something happened, <clears throat> whether it was the radiation exposure for 23 years or uh, the stress, chronic stress for 23 years. I don't know which it was, but uh, it's left me with a stammer and... Uh, having to collect my thoughts so bear with me while I do that or when I do that and uh, as I rub on this <clears throat> okay excuse me again got a little issue going on here in my throat today uh, what I want to talk today is uh, three-phase bone scans and how I used to explain these uh, to my patients when they come in uh, usually I would start out with what is a three-phase bone scan. Well, a three-phase bone scan is a bone scan nuclear medicine procedure that you um, do in three phases. Makes sense, huh? Okay. First phase is <clears throat> you receive an injection of a radioactive phosphate. This radioactive phosphate allows a nuclear medicine technologist to um, image blood flow as it goes uh, through your body. Um, most of the time um, they're being done on extremities and you're looking for an infectious process or you're looking for a fracture that is even small enough that an x-ray won't show it up. Uh, stress fractures most likely. And uh, <clears throat> what you're doing for the infectious process is, is you're evaluating uh, soft tissue infections usually versus bone infections. Uh, quite popular uh, with doctors and diabetic patients. So, your patient or your doctor is going to order for you as a patient a three-phase bone scan. And uh, depending on what your condition is, it's going to depend on what we look at or what they look at. I don't do it anymore, but <coughs> excuse me. Um, let me get a sip. Wet the whistle. Good old iced tea. Um, you're going to go to your imaging center, your local hospital, and you're going to go to the nuclear medicine department. In the nuclear medicine department, you're going to meet a nice technologist, and they're going to explain to you uh, what they're going to do for the day. And it may not be exactly what I say, but different doesn't mean it's wrong, as long as they all come out with the same results at the end. <clears throat> I'm just going to use uh, foot pain is the reason that your doctor ordered your uh, test. What you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to lie down on a t nuclear medicine imaging table and they use a nuclear medicine camera to uh, detect the radio tracer that they're going to inject in the vein. Uh, if you're having foot pain, that doesn't mean you get the injection in the foot. Okay, You get the infection, the injection usually in the vein in your arm. <coughs> That's the easiest place to gain access. Excuse me for the frog in my throat. You lie down on the table, the nuclear medicine technologist comes in, and they're going to have a syringe, and it's going to be in a tungsten um, 
syringe shield, what that does is it cuts down on the radiation exposure to their hands. And then once they inject you, um, you know, they will stay a distance away from you because you will have radioactive light particles coming out of your body. They're called photons, but that's another thing. Yeah, same thing that was on Star Trek, photon torpedoes. It's light energy, comes from gamma rays. But that's nuclear physics. We're not going to get into that. <clears throat> okay, the technologists will have the camera set up. They're going to give you the injection. They're going to watch that injection as it flows through your body, down through your extremities, and down to uh, your feet. Because you had foot pain. Okay. That is phase one of a three-phase bone scan. Some doctors write it as tri-phase bone scans. Yeah. But... <clears throat> Step two of a three-phase bone scan is called the blood pool uh, portion. The blood pool portion, a static image, is taken of your feet. What that static image is, is the blood pooling or the blood uh, collecting in any areas of infection um, or any areas of increased blood flow. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm not going to get into the diagnosis of it or the, the translation in the diagnosis of the pictures. That's what the doctor does, and I am not a doctor. Don't want to go to jail, wear stripes for uh, practicing medicine without a license. But the blood pool image is actually what it sounds like. It's looking for blood swelling, increased blood flow in the area, etc., Okay, that's phase two. <clears throat> You're going to get a few pictures. You may get one picture. You may get three pictures. You may get pictures at different angles. Okay, Those images at different angles doesn't mean anything's wrong. It's just meaning that the technologist is wanting to get the image at a different angle to give the physician or the radiologist, the nuclear medicine doctor, more information for them to make their decision on. There is nothing that they can tell you about this because the three-phase bone scan is not over. Phase three of the bone scan. <clears throat> You're going to be requested to leave the center or wait around the center. It's up to you. But they're going to ask that you drink lots of fluids, especially if you have jeopardized kidney function. Um, what that does is within a minute or two minutes um, pretty much all of the injection that's going to stick to your bones uh, is there but you can't see it because you have a lot of the injection still circulating through the bloodstream soft tissue muscles skin etc so they have to wait uh, for that to dissipate and go away your kidneys get rid of it for them so they ask you to drink lots of fluids recommend that you do so two to three hours later depending on the radio pharmaceutical that they injected you with uh, you will return to them for imaging <coughs> excuse me um, when you come back they're going to lie you on the table and they're going to take more pictures of your foot now they will include both feet, not just one foot, because part of the reading that the doctor does is he compares one foot to the other, uh, kind of to see what's normal and what's abnormal. But, hang on, this wasn't supposed to show up. Close that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, what uh, happens there? is uh, you'll be there. Uh, usually images take about five minutes apiece. So if they have to take four pictures, you're looking at 20 minutes. Okay. Nuclear medicine tables are not meant for comfort. I recommend if you have back pain or anything like that, you take whatever you normally take for your pain, and it'll help you to tolerate the imaging session better. So to kind of recap things, for three-phase bone scan, you have an injection phase, which is called a blood flow, that's step one. 
<coughs> excuse me, you have step two, which is blood pool imaging, which follows immediately after the injection or within you know five or ten minutes after that give time for the blood to pool. And then you have phase three, which is uh, two to three hours later, four hours later. I have done 24-hour images uh, following your injection on inpatients. You do the imaging two to three hours later, and then you bring the patient back the next day, as late as the next day. Uh, typically, that's a little uncommon, and it's just to look at something a little finer. Or people with jeopardized uh, kidney function sometimes can take that long to get the excess injection out of the soft tissue and skin. So I hope that kind of clarifies things for you a little bit. And uh, that's going to do it for three-phase bone scans uh, for the layman. And I'll put a link on here uh, that will take you to a blog post that I have on it. And uh, you can click on that link. Usually I put them at the bottom of the screen. But you yeah, have a great day. This is Mark Hall signing off from my home office in beautiful downtown Zephyr Hills. Let me shut this off now.